Don't ever change for anybody. Don't ever trade your soul. Don't even listen to him. My ingredients for my chicken alfredo today is going to be some boneless, skinless chicken thighs along with this alfredo sauce right here. And this is going to be my pasta. I'm going to be using my seasonings are going to be um, red pepper, Cajun seasoning, paprika, um, Old Bay seasoning, slap your mama, onion powder, parsley. I'll be using tomato some bell peppers and some onions so I wash stay tuned my bell peppers and i have my onion here you see it's not all of it long then i'm gonna be cutting this one Not the best of cutting, but it works. Okay, that should be good. And then we cut in this one. So I'll have some cut small while I have some cut long way. I mean, you could cut it to whatever size you want to cut it to, what, whatever is your preference. Now I'm going to cut my onion. I kind of want it, I'm going to be cutting it um, this way. That one I already sliced. Okay. So I have my chicken cooking. So once I'm done with my chicken, I'm just going to add this um, to the pot. This container here, I have all the seasoning that I use that I'm going to use to season my chicken. So I use the crushed red pepper, I use some paprika, I use some Cajun seasoning, I use some Old Bay seasoning, some slap your mama, some onion powder, and I use a little black pepper, but it's not here. And I didn't me uh, measure the amount of seasoning that I use. I just put the amount that I think might not be salty. So I'm about to start um, seasoning my meat now and I'm just gonna pour just a little bit of um, oil on it just a little bit just a little bit and then the season so now I'm adding all the seasoning that's after I put um, the oil in and then I'm just gonna massage the seasoning into the meat now if you want to use a gloves you can use a gloves but um i like to just use my hand and just massage the meat in and i'll just leave it to sit for like 20 minutes because i'm about to cook right now so now uh, my water is hot and i'm about to add my pasta to it i'm gonna do like two boxes Four box one and box two and then I'm just gonna let them boil now my oil is hot and I'm gonna add my chicken to it and I'm gonna fry it on medium heat the chicken is brown on one side I'm just gonna turn it over and then also let it brown on the other side There we go, we're gonna let it brown on the other side. 
now my pasta is all done so I'm just gonna pour it into this so it could drain it could drain all the excess liquid from it done I'm gonna remove it from the pot so now that my chicken is done I'm just gonna cut it up you could cut it however small you want to cut it now to this pot, I'm just going to add all my veg. My bell pepper, my onion, a little garlic. And I'm just going to saute it for like 5 to 6 minutes. So I'm done sauteing my bell peppers and onions and tomatoes and I'm just going to add my alfredo sauce to it. I'm going to do one and a half um, alfredo sauce because I have a lot of pasta. So I'm going to do like half more. Then I'm going to let this cook for probably like three to four more minutes on I eat so now to this sauce I'm gonna add a little bit more Cajun seasoning just a little more give it that Cajun flavor and then I am gonna add my no I'm gonna add some more onion powder I'll take the sauces. I'm gonna add my pasta to it. Just gonna add the pasta. I have a lot of pasta. Let me turn the flame down a little. I have the pasta. A little bit more. Okay. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the chicken. I have the rest on the cutting board, but I'm I'm just gonna serve it whenever I plate the food. And then I'm gonna add some parsley flakes to it. Parsley flakes. And voila, I'm done. And this is the final product.